Hi everyone, welcome to Celtic Knot Crochet on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy velvety infinity scarf. It is so soft. It's fun to crochet because it works up quickly. It's a very easy stitch pattern, so this is a great beginner project. Uh, but then once you have it completed and you wear it, it's so, so soft and warm uh, that you'll really enjoy it and maybe want to make one for everybody you know. Uh, I put it together so it always hangs nicely like this around your neck. I'll show you how to do that in the video and you'll see uh, that with the thicker yarn uh, you get a lot of mileage for each row so it goes quickly and like I said you'll love this yarn it's Bernat's velvet yarn uh, you get a nice big ball so one skein is plenty for a scarf and I think you'll really enjoy making it so keep watching and you'll be on your way to making and wearing this great scarf So here is the yarn for the Easy Velvety Infinity Scarf. Um, it's Bernat Velvet by Yarnspirations. Um, for the two scarves I show you, I used color Gray Orchid, which is this beautiful purple. And this other one is Smoky Blue. You can see it right there. This is the Smoky Blue. Um, it looks um, more blue here on the video. It's a, a little more muted than what you can see here. Um, but both, I think, are beautiful colors and again, the yarn is so soft. Uh, you'll love crocheting with it if you can get the hang of it. Uh, it can be a little hard to see your stitches, so I'm going to show you the stitch um, using a different yarn and then I'll show it to you with uh, the actual velvet yarn. So according to the pattern, which you'll find at CelticKnotCrochet.com, you're going to chain Let's see, I have five so far, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So you're going to chain nineteen, and this yarn's a little bit bigger, but you'll see it's not very wide, about six inches wide. And then you're going to skip the first chain and then we're going to work single crochet in each stitch all the way across so I'll show you a single crochet you should know how to do that if you're watching this video but you insert your hook into the next chain yarn over pull through the chain now you have two loops on your hook then you yarn over and pull through both I'll move that back a little and I'm this is what you're actually going to do every other row in the pattern is single crochet. So that's what helps it go so quickly because it's thick yarn. So even though single crochet is a short stitch, the thicker yarn gives you more volume per row. And you want to continue that all the way to the end. And you would have, if you were to count, 18 single crochets. Now that's something you'll want to do throughout the whole pattern, is every once in a while just check your stitch count. And once we do the special stitch, I'll show you it's even easier to count your stitches because it creates a raised portion of the stitch. So there's the 18 single crochets across. And if you look carefully here, you can see, sometimes if you hold it sideways, you can see it. See how there's that raised loop along a, each, well, it's every other row. That's what the special stitch is going to do. And even with the velvet, you can count those slashes or those loops. And if you have 18, then you're keeping your rows straight on both sides. So I like to call this stitch the yarn over slip stitch. Alright, so here is the 18 single crochets. You can see them all there easily with this type of yarn. And now I'm just going to turn it so I can go back the same direction 
with the wrong side facing. You can see how bumpy the single crochet is on this side. Now I'm not going to do a turning chain at all. I'm just going to start right into that very first stitch. But first I have the yarn over. I'm going to hold the yarn over with my thumb on my hook hand. And then I'm going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch. Then I'm going to adjust my grip right below those two loops, twist and pull the hook through the two loops that were on the hook. So I'll show you that again. Yarn over, hold the yarn over with my hook hand, insert the hook to the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, then adjust my grip right below those loops, twist and pull the loop through. Yarn over, hook under the stitch through the two loops, yarn over, pull through the stitch, adjust my grip, twist and pull through the two loops. So if you don't do the adjusting with your grip and you just try to go straight through, you're not going to be able to and it's going to frustrate you. So after you pull through the stitch, then adjust your grip so that you can twist the hook and pull through those two loops. And after you do it a couple times, take your time doing it the way I suggest and then you'll find that it'll go really quickly and you'll get the hang of it and be able to crank out the yarn over slip stitch fairly quickly. And then this is the wrong side of the project but if you flip it over that yarn over with the slip stitch gives you this really nice rope like look on the back side of that row which will end up being the right side of this project. So continue that to the end and then I'll show you how to work back into the special stitch. So I finished and now I have raised loops all the way across on the right side. I'm going to chain one and now if you see, again, by feeling, I can feel where the next stitch is because that raised loop kind of creates a little gap in the stitch. So I skip my chain one and then I'm going to insert the hook right into the top of the stitch and do a regular single crochet. And here's the next one. Remember, if you practice feeling where the next stitch is, you don't have to worry when you start using the velvet yarn. You can tell where it comes. So see how there's that gap in there? There's the two loops on top. Put my hook in there. And single crochet as usual. Hook in, yarn over, pull through the stitch, two loops on hook, yarn over, pull through the two loops. And as you go, you can see that that makes that row of raised loops stand out even more. So the whole scarf is basically that. A row of single crochet, a row of the raised loops, and then single crochet again. It really helps it stand out so you can see it here what it looks like though with the different yarn it has a different look gives some interest so next I'll show you how to do it with the actual yarn so this even though uh, this here is the front or the right side of the scarf the pretty um, special stitch shows up on the wrong side. So chain one and I turn over and I like to hold this yarn can be hard to see your stitches if you look there um, but sometimes it's easier just by feel. You can feel along where each 
single crochet is from the row before. Uh, so sometimes that can help you if you're having a hard time seeing where to put your hook. So right now the wrong side is facing me. It just looks like plain single crochet. And I'm going to yarn over, put my hook in, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and through the loops on my hook. And that's the yarn over slip stitch that we were just doing with the other yarn. But this is what it looks like with the velvet yarn. But I use the same technique, yarn over, and I hold that yarn over with my right hand. And then I insert using my middle finger and my thumb to guide it. Then I yarn over and I pull through here and then I move my thumb and middle finger over to hold those loops and then I can pull through those. It might seem a little awkward at first, but then it'll help you to go really fast with this stitch. So, and the yarn is just so soft in your fingers. And remember when you're pulling through loops you want to turn your hook so it faces all the way down. And that's all there is to that. You can see how it creates the pretty slashed or diagonal loop across the front of the scarf. So I'll continue with that all the way across. Now if you're having a hard time seeing your stitches, you might want to count to make sure that every row you have the same amount. And don't worry if it's not exactly the number that's called for in the pattern. As long, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as it's all the same for every row, then it doesn't really matter. The key is to have it consistent all the way across and all the way up and down so you don't have it grow. So now you see this right here. Can you tell? There's one more stitch there. So there's that row and you turn it over you can see the texture of that yarn over slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one again and now I have the right side facing with all that texture and then all you have to do is single crochet all the way across. I'll just do a couple of those for you. So I chained one, there's the chain one, and I can feel, I can feel the gaps right here, right above the, all those horizontal slashes with my thumb and middle finger. I can feel them. So that's how I know where to go. You can try turning it this way, but it is hard to see. So I do a lot of it by feel. I can feel the hole there. Hook in, yarn over, pull through, a stitch yarn over pull through two. So this is a great beginner pattern and when you have yarn that's luxurious like this you end up with a great project at the end. So now that you've completed your scarf, you'll go for 60 inches in alternating single crochet and yarn over slip stitch. Uh, your scarf will end up being about six inches wide. You see right here, mine's about six and a half. And then I went till it's 60 inches, so there's quite a bit of scarf here. Um, and then I wanted to show you that instead of doing the traditional infinity scarf where you double it, you twist it and double it over around your neck, I don't like how that sometimes can um, make for a funny 
blob of scarf and you can't figure out where to put it and you're fiddling with it and wrestling with your scarf. So I decided for this one uh, to sew it together so it's already in the double format uh, where it can hang nicely around your neck. You just put it over your head and you're good to go. So I'm showing you with a smaller version. It would look something like this. So there are the two circles of the scarf, um, but I didn't do any kind of cutting or anything. I just wrapped them around each other. So I'll show you how to do that. So according to the instructions, you'll see, you'll take a measuring tape and measure out 28 inches on your scarf and create a loop like this. So I have one edge of the scarf coming up underneath and of course this will be the right side of the scarf the one facing out because this is where your head will come through so the raised loops will be on the outside edge and then you have this whole long length 32 inches left of your scarf and you take that and wrap that around that side and here's the end again and you have the ends meet up so inside I have the first edge of the scarf for the end and the outside I have the other and I'm sandwiching them in between uh, I'm sandwiching a length of the scarf so with paper it's very thin I'll show you with the actual scarf too and then you get this nice effect where you have the fullness of the double scarf like an infinity scarf but you don't have any awkward twists and it looks really nice on your neck and you just put it over your head and you're good to go. So let me show you now how to sew it together with the actual yarn project. So here I have the end of my scarf. You can see here's the top edge and then here's the middle section of the scarf right here and then right here is the other end of the scarf. So just like in the paper, here's the end, and I wrap it around, and then I keep wrapping the scarf around until the other end meets up with it, but on top. And I pinned it together with a safety pin, and then I use these Wonder Clips from Clover. They're great for sewing and crocheting projects to hold things together without putting a pin in. And I left a nice long yarn tail when I finished off and so here's that inside edge here's the top outside edge and because this yarn is so thick and has so many uh, different threads and strands that go every which way giving that, that really neat look you can't see your stitches at all so I'm just gonna go up and down go th make sure I'm going through all three layers right here and I that will secure the inside edge and then I'll go down and through the outside edge like that and I'll just continue like that all the way down um, you could also just go up and down along the inside edge all the way down here and then turn around and come back along the outside edge up and down just taking your needle through the top out the bottom and then up through the bottom and out the top and go all the way down like that you just want to make sure it's nice and secure so and then this would be the part that's behind your neck and you can't see the join at all it all blends in together and then it will hang very nicely from your neck with the two layers just like this and when it hangs I like to tuck in the top a little bit it's easy to do on a neck <laughs> and like that and then you have this really easy 
super soft, warm, um, but also pretty scarf that you can wear this winter because it works up very fast. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe or click like and uh, come visit me on the blog at CelticNotCrochet.com. Thanks for watching.